Next on the list as well, we should of course mention the Supreme 2022 Spring Summer Preview. Um, I'm generally never a fan of Supreme Spring Summer. I think the Fall Winter is always the collection to go to, especially for a guy. I think men's fashion exists mainly in the winter anyway. I think most dudes struggle to dress well in the summer because you have to wear shorts, <laughs> right? And most dudes don't know how to wear shorts, myself included, and short sleeve stuff is just weird. Uh, but when it comes to jackets, coats, jumpers, long sleeves, comeback pants, cords, jeans, suits, yo, we're, we, we're, we're always set up um, for winter. But, this happens to be, weirdly enough, one of the better spring summer collections I've seen for Supreme in a while, legitimately. And usually, like I said, I'm not really a fan of spring summer Supreme at all. And I thought this collection was really, really well done. Um, first of all, the best thing I thought, again, was this Nate Lauman uh, vest thing that they've got here, collaboration. I thought that's pretty cool. I like this uh, varsity jacket they've got there called the Iron Flux varsity jacket. That was something that I was really a big fan of once I saw it in the preview. This pullover looks absolutely mean. Let's just actually let's, let's click a picture of this. Let's click pictures. Oh, my nose is going absolute gang green style, but let's click the picture. Hopefully, loads. There you go. So, this is this uh, Gore Tex, what's it called? Gore Tex Pass Light jacket is absolutely fire like definitely something that i would be um into wearing um i'm not really sure about my guests remember i think I remember saying on the podcast a while back that it feels like to me supreme have really started to up the amount of jackets that they make in in brand in in line in-house and it felt like to me there would come a point in time in the future where they might just completely stop doing collaborations with like Stone Island, North Face, and just start producing their own in-brand, in-house uh, down jackets and whatnot. Because they've effectively been upping their out outerwear offering, like season in, season out, like without stopping since they've, you know, since the flipping uh, North Face has became a big deal. But it hasn't really happened. If anything, they've just added more North Faces on top of what already they're already making. Or the other way around. Do you know what I mean? It's not really that point hasn't really come yet. So maybe I was a bit off on that regard. But this jacket is great. Um, the leopard or the pink sort of colorway are probably my favorites. No point in getting the black, but I think those two colorways are definitely ones that I'd go to straight away. What else do I like to this collection? Um, I thought the Italia, you know, the kind of vintage Italy, Italy sort of jacket thing was really nice. I'm just glad it's not a flipping collaboration with Palace or anything. That's, thank God, because they seem to have an infatuation with like 90s, you know, Serie A football stuff. So great to see. That's just a supreme thing. Cool. This tartan suit is absolutely banging too. Definitely something that I would be into wearing. Um, definitely something I've been into wearing. And again, something that I feel like they've done really well over the years. Their suitings, um, they seem to sell out quite often. Whenever they're available, I remember one they made one that was like in black, a minty green and a blue, and that sold out really quickly. So it's either Supreme Kids don't mind buying the suits, or they're generally something that people generally in, like to wear day to day. Um, I'd imagine the fit is quite relaxed as well. So if you're a kid that just wants to have a suit in your wardrobe that you can kind of pull out whenever the time need be, because again, the time will come where you need to wear a suit. So why not be able to wear a suit from a brand that you actually trust, um, you know, with a fit that you enjoy that kind of looks well, that looks good regardless of what kind of season we're in, regardless of trends, it kind of cut the right way. And I guess all you have to do is basically get the hems taken up a bit if you want to wear it that way. But yeah, the tartan suit looks absolutely banging. Definitely reminds me of um, what's his face, the old manager from Flipping Sex Pistols. Ah, uh, what's his name? It reminds me of something that he would wear with, with a couple of brothel creepers and whatnot. Uh, what else I liked here? This Vanson jacket was really nice. Uh, there's a kind of reversible jacket that looks very similar to the Balenciaga jacket that they did a couple seasons back that I really like the look of. Actually, I think it's this one. Um, it's the Gore-Tex reversible Polar Tech line jacket. The actual reverse looks really interesting. This kind of two block sort of color thing. This again, it reminds me a little bit more of the Supreme I grew up on. 
Um, maybe the logo is a little bit too big, but in terms of the kind of overall offerings that they had, it wasn't super logo heavy. There wasn't, you know, crazy branding all over the place, just kind of subtly done. Maybe back in the day, this would have been a little bit smaller and maybe more tonal. But overall, I think this jacket is really nice, especially the reverse um, where the fleece is, is probably one of my favorite bits with a two color block. You know, they've got the olive there as well. The black is what color we're here. Oh, it's like a white and sky blue. That's really, really well done. And of course, they've got one with the white uh, with Gore-Tex written all over it. Uh, let's reverse that again. One more. So you can see the other side of things. Yeah, really, really cool. Um, what else I like to the collaboration? No, what else I to the new collection? Sorry. Uh, buh, 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 buh. The Silver Surface shirt is absolutely smoking. I definitely see a lot of those kind of wavy garments crew type people are definitely going to be into this and definitely something I would wear myself to be honest it's definitely a great going out or DJ t-shirt as I like to call them <laughs> so definitely something that I'll be into wearing um, I definitely like this jacket too um, it's a utility jacket but I kind of it looks a bit similar it's like a fisherman's jacket to me <clears throat> especially in the yellow I think Stussy did something similar as well this season um, this kind of jacket shape which looks really well done. So yeah, this is really uh, an easy, easy cop in terms of stuff they've got available. This look a bit of a washed fabric there with a the contrast um, on the collar. Not really a fan of the embroidery on the back, but at least it's tonal. So again, you have to kind of live with that one. Let's go back. Uh, what else did I enjoy? This jumper is really nice. What's that one called? It's called the hand crochet jumper. That looks really cool. Again, some more Nate Lauman pieces. They look really interesting. Some great cardigans, but I'm not really into that kind of tie the creator look, to be honest. Um, it continues. Oh, what did what's the other thing I would just point out here? Uh, they got some great long sleeves here, some great jerseys. But one of my standout pieces, if I can find it, was the gloves. Because I remember copying these gloves back in the day, right? So they're, they're, they're bringing back these Franklin gloves. And if you remember back in the day, they used to have these Franklin batting gloves that I used to wear. Oh, no, I actually bought a pair of the original ones, which I lost. Then I bought a pair of just regular Franklin batting gloves from eBay. I bought like four pairs. And I think I've lost every single one apart from one. Shambolic. But what I would do is I'd wear these as my cycling gloves because the grip was crazy because these are essentially batting gloves that you use for baseball, right? So if you're going to be, um, you know, using a baseball, whatever, playing baseball, you use these to kind of grip the handle and they make for really great cycling gloves. So if you're looking for cycling gloves and you don't want to wear the, the stuff that everyone wears at the moment, which is the Fox Sports, whatever, the Fox symbol, bicycle gloves or the mechanic gloves, or you just want to wear gloves in general, I really recommend Franklin batting gloves. They're really, really well done. Um, they're really, uh, what's that thing called? They don't make your hands sweat too tough. Uh, they fit amazing. I think the fit goes like small, medium, extra large. Yeah, small, medium, large, extra large. Obviously, my man is extra large. Don't know the gang. Um, but yeah, big fan of these gloves. So I'm definitely going to be trying to cop as many of these as possible. Possibly black and red. I can't be wearing white gloves. That's just not the vibe. But yeah, the Franklin Bank gloves I'm very excited about. Um, they've even, they're even selling a flipping Airstream. That's flipping crazy an airstream right traveler like all decked out with supreme on the inside they got like look at that looks how good does that look it's like a little diner on the inside isn't it with the massive supreme uh uh couch there on the other side supreme branding on the shelf the rug's really cool too and then the other thing that was really cool that i thought i saw in a collection was the backpacks this might be one of the strongest seasons for backpacks and side bags i've seen in a while this backpack shape and this colorway is absolutely smoking. Backpack uh, resistant Cordura and it comes in a sort of like granite gray with blue accents like crazy good. This and a brown one are probably my favorite. I think there's a brown, yeah, there's a brown colorway, that kind of brown colorway. It reminds me of the old bags I used to buy back in the day on flipping Yahoo uh, JP auctions for Supreme back in the day. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is really, really good. Like, I would get every color, but probably these two are my favorite colors. The kind of the brown and this sort of like gray, silvery color are really cool. And it also looks equally as good uh, once you get into the duffel bags, which I'm definitely going to end up buying as a gym bag. Uh, these look really great in all the colors as well. Um, and then there's a really good side bag too. 
that I thought looked awesome because it could fit your little water drink bottle on the side. So I got a messenger bag there. Is that a messenger bag? Yeah, small messenger bag there that looks pretty decent. Might be a good little DJ bag, that one. They've got a sling bag also that they're offering. And then they've got, yeah, a nice little uh, harness waist bag that looks pretty decent with a back strap on it, it looks like, yeah. Um, but the best one is this. This little small side bag looks really fucking cool, man. You can stick a little water bottle at the end there. And then you've got the main compartment there to put your main belongings and whatnot. So this might make for, again, a decent little DJ bag if you're that way inclined. So yeah, pretty decent stuff from Supreme. Most of the stuff's going to come out tomorrow. Um, I think uh, it's, quite, it's quite a big drop, actually, for this one. From what I've seen from Supreme Drops online. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Yeah, more to come from them. 